When will we be able to see free energy devices powering consumer products like this electric car? Well, they're already here, and you may be able to purchase one by the time you see this program. In Oklahoma, where oil has been king for over a century, inventor Troy Reed has been busy in his shop constructing rotating magnetic motors that he believes will soon revolutionize how we get around. And it does work. This is a new prototype of the magnetic motor, and if I can explain a little bit about what you call a magnetic field. All magnets, the big old wooden prototype, has a system. As the motor went over, it had a tension to jerk. Jerk over, like that. If you take this motor here, and you take your finger and rotate it, it doesn't have that jerking in it. So what I've done, I got rid of the crankshaft. I got rid of the crankshaft. I've got rid of, of the, the injectors. And the system in this motor here, as you crank this motor up, and like you do the other one, the motor will start running. And uh, what I'll do, I'll energize it on this motor here. If you can see these amp gauges over here, this will come, when we get it up to about 150 volts, we'll unplug it and we'll turn the light on. If you turn this around where you can see this side here, all the working parts is behind this system here, operates from a little computer. It takes just five volts, it's 150 volts. What we're going to do, turn off all the switches, make sure there ain't nothing plugged into it. There's the plug. There's your 110 volts. Motor's still running. You can ro all, operate this table pump around. Still got energy running. Nothing tied up in the back of it. Nothing on the floor. Rotate around, still running up running electricity. So we're looking, hoping, hoping this time next year that you'll be able to use it in your home. So that's another. And what's good about this, you're talking about electric automobiles, this car, this right here can set in back of an electric automobile and generate electricity and charge batteries up in a car. automobile. You can drive it anywhere you want to. You don't pollute the air. All the other electric automobiles that I've actually seen has been nothing but this standard transmission. This is an automatic transmission car. There's not a whole lot of what you call junk. I would call under cars. Uh, I've seen a lot of electric cars that had a lot of stuff in it. Only thing that this has, has a battery to run the uh, radio, uh, the blower, We've got two safety switches over here that can be mounted into an enclosed uh, system, but we did this where you could see, where people can see this car with the technology. It's a safety switch system. This is a, a controller box, a Curtis control box. It cuts the amperage down. So with the amperage, here's what's real good about electric automobiles. All electric automobiles that have search technology with this in it they create heat. They've got to have a fan to blow this blow this uh, this uh, Curtis controller off because it gets hot. We don't want that to get hot. We want to stay that cold because once it stays cold, you save on all the com all the computer chips that's in this com uh, controller. So that means you can go farther, longer, and you don't have no problems. This electric automobile has got two gauges in front of the shifter on the automatic transmission. It's called the voltage and the amperage. That's what I was talking about earlier about amperage on automobiles. Let's see if we can't get the amperage to go down instead of going up. The voltage on this here should say somewhere around 120 volts. When we start out, there's no amperage at all. So the gauges is down below here, and we're getting ready to take and go drive the car 
and uh, you can see for yourself what it does. All you do is just take and put it in gear and the motor sounds like a little sports car. Shifts, runs good, fantastic automobile, drives. If you'll see the amperage on the gate, see it going down? Amperage goes way down. That's what's that's what I like about an electric car. If you floorboard the car, the most it will do would just be about maybe a hundred amps. And that's what we want to do, is to keep the amperage down on an electric car. So it'll go anywhere uh, really anybody wants to go. If you want to take a trip, you don't have to worry about it going to go plug it in the house because it's called the surge technology. Uh, it's a beautiful automobile and I love it and I've put a lot of hard work in this car and we're going to make it. No oil, no gas to fool with. And the technology is here. It's going to be here. It's going to go. It's going to work beautiful for the whole world, for mankind. See you around. This is your future, people. As we have seen so far, electromagnetism seems to be offering the most viable path for many contemporary inventors. The magnetic motor